again while I've been having another little sort out I've found this little gem fairly worn edition of the Daily Mirror Tuesday November the 12th 1918 allies drastic armistice terms to the Huns how London hailed the end of the war and this is a genuine newspaper so this will go on display during the week How joyful Londoners kept Armistice Day in the streets. The King's delight. Our submarines. 44 Hun warships sunk. Fighting breaks out in Berlin. The revolution. French Embassy. Berlin Soviet meets. Fox drastic terms to beat in Germany. Duration of armistice, 36 days, all U-boats to be surrendered and 74 warships disarmed. Heligolander base? Question mark. The Prime Minister in the House of Commons yesterday gave the terms of the armistice. The main points are as follows. Immediate evacuation of Belgium and Alsace-Lorraine and Luxembourg. Evacuation by enemy of Rhinelands complete within 16 days. Railways of Alsace-Lorraine to be handed over. Immediate repatriation without repatriation of Germans, of Allied and United States prisoners. All German troops in Russia, Romania and elsewhere to be withdrawn. Complete abandonment of the treaties of Bucharest and Brest-Litovsk. Immediate cessation of all hostilities at sea. To be disarmed, six battle cruisers, ten battleships, eight light cruisers, fifty destroyers and other services. Allies reserve right to occupy Heligoland land to enable them to enforce the terms of the armistice. Handing over to Allies and United States of all submarines, duration of armistice is to be 36 days. The Prime Minister said the terms included the surrender of 5,000 locomotives, 2,500 heavy, 2,500 field and 30,000 machine guns. Last shot of war to be fired at 11am. Then there's how the naval conditions will be enforced. Any German port may be occupied, U-boats to surrender. The Canadians take Mons. Lee Garrison rises up. Huns acknowledge absolute victory of the Allies' armistice, brings four years' slaughter to an end. Of the Daily Mirror, the end at last. Peace Day. Today's gossip was going on. Diadem face powder, cream rouge, vanishing cream, Osram lights. Superf superfluous hair permanently and painlessly removed with electricity. Prudential have just invested in war bonds. And again on the back. The Empire's Greatest Joy Day. The Hun arch criminals hurried flight from justice. Ex Emperor William II. Edith Clavel assassinated by the Germans. Count William von Bentick. Von Hindenburg, Captain Freyat, deliberately done to death by the Huns. Ex-Crown Prince of Germany. And this is a shot at dawn. Floods of innocent blood cry out for justice on the murderers. So that's a genuine edition of the Daily Mirror for November the 12th, 1918. How London hailed the end of the war.